What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a comparison and talking to you about two 11.5 inch uppers that are meant for suppressed only shooting. I'm going to talk about uh, why you might want one of these, give you some comparisons between the Triarc and the Psionics, and then lastly uh, I could give you some footage and talk about how they actually do shooting, how they feel, and how they perform. So if you've dug yourself deep enough in the YouTube, uh, down the YouTube rabbit hole to find my channel, I'm going to assume you kind of understand the basics of AR-15 gassing. But the short story is, is that um, the gas port size directly relates to reliability. So the larger the gas port size, the more gassy the rifle is going to be, which is going to allow the rifle to power through more adverse conditions, like um, if it's cold, if the rifle's dirty, or you're using underpowered ammo. However, that comes at a cost when you throw a suppressor on, especially when you throw a suppressor on something short like an 11.5 inch upper, you get a much more gassy rifle, a lot more gas coming back to the face, which is unpleasant, a little more recoil, it's still 5.56, so recoil isn't really that big a deal, but I wanted something that would give me a uh, more smooth, less gassy shooting experience when I'm doing uh, dedicated suppressed shooting. So the Psyonix 11.5 inch ERGP or extremely reduced gas port upper and the Triarc 11.5 inch suppressed only upper. Um, aesthetically, they're very, very similar. Uh, a couple of the main differences, the Triarc does have seven, uh, seven sided M lock. So all seven of the side panels um, that are not the top do have the M lock. The Triarc has the sling swivel back here, close to the receiver. And it is reinforced, I think, with some, some steel, which maybe gives you a little bit better sling swivel. Lastly, the Triarc is kind of a uh, blocky upper because it has this wedge lock rail, which um, you know, supposedly provides a better lockup, more secure lockup of the receiver to the barrel nut. Probably doesn't make a difference in practice for anyone of us, but it's a nice thought. The Psyonix, on the other hand, has five-sided M lock, so the two side panels and these bottom panels, however, here on the top, the top uh, kind of ones that are at an angle or diagonal, they're not actually M-lock. Um, the Psyonix does have a swing swivel option up front or in the back, however, they're not steel reinforced. Psyonix is slightly more sleek, I'd say, because it doesn't have that wedge lock kind of blockiness there. The rail lengths are very similar. The Triarc is 10.75 inch, and I measured the Psyonix. I think it's slightly longer, about a 16th of an inch longer. There you can see the uh, rail length. So if you want super flush, they're both really good options. The Psyonix being about 1 16th of an inch longer. Um, the only other big difference, uh, weight. The Psyonix is about five ounces lighter. I measured these without the charging handle or bolt carrier group. Uh, did have the cherry bomb muzzle device on both. And the Psyonix was 2.12 uh, ounces, two pounds, 12 ounces. The Triarc was three pounds, one ounce. So a five ounce difference there. Now, how do they do shooting? What's the actual gas port size? Unfortunately, neither manufacturer publishes this. I think that's a spec that manufacturers should put out there. Uh, you know, a lot of us wanna know, but neither one does. So I did some digging around the internet. Um, I don't have pin gauges myself, but if I'm trusting what's commonly out there online reported from people, the Triarc, has a 0 0.052 inch um, gas port, while the Psyonix has a 0 0.063 inch gas port. Now 0 0.063, 0 0.062, somewhere in that range, I heard different people reporting different things. But for reference, a normal 11.5 inch gas port is gonna be around 0 0.07 to 0 0.073, somewhere in there. So the Triarc, if numbers reported by uh, random guys online or to be believed is about a uh, hundredth of an inch smaller gas port than the Psyonix. Cutting in some footage, uh, you'll see that the Triarc doesn't throw the brass quite as far when shooting suppressed. Uh, the Psyonix does throw the brass a little further, making me think that those numbers are kind of reliable and the Psyonix does have a slightly larger gas port than the Triarc. Um, as advertised, neither of these work well without the suppressor. The um, Triarc would not eject brass at all without a suppressor. The Psyonix would intermittently eject brass. It would not eject steel. It's probably about 50% of the time it would eject the brass. But neither one of these are good options for shooting without a suppressor. That's what we expect. 
Um, the gassiness, maybe the Triarch had a slight advantage in being less gassy. At the same time, I did kind of expect that going in there, so it may just be my bias going in there, expecting it to be less gassy because of the advertised uh, slightly smaller gas port. And the Psionics, um, you know, maybe slightly gassier. I didn't notice a big recoil difference. I was shooting both these on the same lower with an H2 buffer. Um, no attachments, you know, everything, same bolt carrier group. And uh, that's pretty much what I found. The Psionics ejects the brass slightly further. I will say both of these did cycle both brass and steel and would lock back on an empty magazine uh, when shooting suppressed, and that's with an H2 buffer. So I do think they're very well gassed. Both of them are for shooting suppressed. Um, they both felt didn't feel uh, sluggish. The bulkier group didn't feel like it was moving slow. Um, so I think they're both pretty reliable, I would say. Uh, although, you know, this, uh, this testing I did was very limited. However, if you're worried about it, get an H1 buffer. You'll have a little bit more, uh, little bit more oomph to cycle the rifle. So that's all I got for you guys. The Triarch is going to be a better bet for you. If you really want to be riding that line towards the as minimal gassy as possible, um, or if you really care about having the wedge lock rail, having the reinforced uh, sling swivels, or really need seven sided M lock because you want to mount a, uh, a light up top or something like that, the Psionics is the one that I'm deciding to keep. Uh, a couple reasons, mainly because I've had this for longer. Um, the Triarch I waited for 15 months to get. Decided to compare them, but this one's got more rounds through it, and so I think I'll just keep it. Already got my optic zero, laser zero, and stuff like that. Um, the this one's going to be slightly more reliable because of the larger gas port. But again, if you really want to be on that bleeding edge of minimal gas, smooth shooting possible, that Triarc is the one for you. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it if you give me a like, and if you care to subscribe, uh, definitely kind of. Helps me out, helps get the channel up there a little bit. I don't put out videos very often, so you won't be constantly bombarded with notifications. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and overgassing kills, so get you one of these uppers.